Welcome everybody. Um, I'm just going to start with our tune. Okay. Great. Well, welcome everybody and happy new year, happy new decade, happy new life. So today we're going to start your special program, the Abundance Thriving Manifestation Program. And I just wanted you to be really extra aware that this is your time. It's right here, right now. Miracles don't just happen to you. Miracles happen through you, for you, and because of you. You are the miracle. You are the magic you've been searching for. Abundance is your birthright. Abundance is your duty. Your divine design duty is to thrive and receive the blessings. In the core of your being, all potentiality is contained. The whole success DNA is already within you. Your life's experience, whatever it was, is the fertile ground that enables your true potential to manifest, emerging as your human divine design purpose. Reality is your images of the mind expressed. There is no thing outside of you. So welcome to your abundance thriving manifest manifesting ATM program. It's really exciting. Um, today we are experimenting with different platforms. So I know that I have people um, from here, from the UK. Hello and welcome. And I also know that there's people from South Africa, Spain, America, and New Zealand expressed. Oh, and also Israel. So welcome. Welcome to all of you, wherever you are in the world, just um, and whatever platform, because I have a few platforms open. So welcome. And thank you for taking the time on the first day of the new Gregorian year, a new decade. Really well done. I commend you. So I wish you a most joyous, thriving new life. And just to ensure it's Good morning, afternoon, and evening, <laughs> wherever you are in the world. So um, later on, we might have some time to talk. But in the meantime, if you can mute yourself, please, that would be great. Um, just wanted to say, New Year resolutions don't actually work. It's when you make a commitment and you take a consistent action, and that consistent action correlates directly to your desired outcome. So it really is up to you to make something out of your life and to actually make sure that the New Year's resolution do work. And all it takes is building a new habit. And a new habit will, in, will entail that you need to do it for at least 30 days, 42 days, it becomes an ingrained habit. So this is a very unique program and I'm and a few others will be your accountability coach and we will keep you on track daily. I will be sharing with you profound practices that transform my life and lives of others and also, you know, how to enhance our performance. I will be gifting you a really powerful manifestation guided meditation. I've already recorded that and it will be uploaded to a place where you can access it, when, access it whenever you desire. So on day one today, um, it will be daily. We will set your life to thrive and succeed. Um, we will free you from the past. It is easy. It really is simple. We will create mission statement for you living a thriving life. We will find your life's purpose and we will actually give you also manifestation tool that works every single time. Taking action that will accomplish your desired outcome will be included in the package and there will be home play by the end of, um, of this session. So managing yourself will guarantee your success. 
okay? The home play exercises really do work and they will fulfill on your vision and goals. And there will be a contract, a contract between yourself and yourself. So here we go. Your abundance. Abundance flows through you. You are the channel for riches to be expressed on planet Earth. So you're allowing yourself to receive the abundance will mean that you'll have more to give to other people who might be in need. When you actually facilitate abundance or miracles or whatever it is for other people, then you share in their success. So it really is important. There's a word in English called compersion. Compersion is when you celebrate someone else's successes. And that's a really hard one to do if we're coming from lack and scarcity mindset. So we're going to cultivate the abundant, the wealth mindset. I really want you to get that you are the abundant source. You are that holy chalice that you've been searching for. You're a miracle. You're a miracle of life. And abundance seems to be there synchronicity everywhere if you get yourself out of the way. <laughs> and that's a very interesting thing. So it's who we are, how we put ourselves in the world is just a made up story. It's just an ego structure. And so if we get our identification out of the way, miracles really happen to us, through us, for us. And you become, you are that, you are the river of life. You are the river of abundance. So living a purposeful life is really important. Contributing selflessly to others, but not from a place of manipulation. When we contribute to others, we need to check whether we're actually doing it in order to serve ourselves or whether it is really selfless act so that we ensure that other people grow and thrive and therefore we have a fulfilled life as well. So coming from a mindset of abundance rather than the scarcity or envy, okay, and really facilitating other people to win, that is a miracle magnet because you become that fountain of success for other people, therefore you become that magnet of abundance. So we're going to lift the dam of your limiting beliefs and identification. And we're just going to allow you to thrive and grow well beyond your dreams. So the sky is not the limit. Now we're going to invite you to surrender to the flow of the universal abundance that is wanting to flow through you. It's currency is flowing through you all the time even nowadays with the electronic devices that we transact on mobile phones and cell phones it is happening through us all the time all we need to do is allow ourselves to be in the flow of abundance rather than shut down so just remember that you are a divine instrument that you are that magic wand you don't have to understand everything. Your subconscious understands it. And your subconscious actually protects you as well. So any subliminal or subconscious things that are suggested to you or to suggest you, your subconscious will ensure that you will take in only that which actually benefits and enhance you. Subliminally, you will evolve and it will actually uh, manifest in your conscious life you will evolve to new levels, okay? So you will not recognize yourself by the end. So take a video recording of yourself today. Today, just after this session, go and record yourself moaning about something in life, moaning about me if you like, you know, just say something, criticize something or talk about something as you normally do. And then by the end of the program, we will see how far you got to. So take a picture of yourself, take a little video recording for yourself and, uh, and leave it for a while. Okay. And now we're going to look at the mission statement of your life. You're going to 
constitute yourself. Of course, you can always redesign it, but we're going to make declarations and constitute ourselves. And then we're going to make a contract with yourself and then you sign it. So how do we constitute ourselves? Well, if there is something that I desire to be or have or be, <laughs> then I declare it as I am, I have. Not I will, but I have, I am in the present tense. The future and the past are always happening in the present. So constituting myself, I'm declaring, I am a spiritual tourist guide. I am a shit shifter. <laughs> you know, I, I train leaders, global leaders, which I have done in the past, but this is how I constituted myself. So make declarations about yourself, write it down, write the mission statement of your life. You can always redesign it, you can always hone it again, but do that. Now, I invite you to use some anchors. What are anchors? Anchors are things that are used in neuro linguistic programming NLP. You can say you can just uh, press your fingers if you like, and you might look very spiritual doing that. But whenever you feel good, just use an anchor. You feel good about yourself, use the anchor. You um, see something really funny that made you laugh out loud, anchor. You danced an amazing dance. You feel elated. You feel invigorated. You feel thriving and vital. Anchor that feeling so that you actually get that anchor really ingrained within you and you'll be able to use it later when you need to. So make sure you use anchors, okay? You can very simply think and remember something that happened to you that you're very proud of something that happened to you that you that was the blessing in your life for me it was the moment my daughter was born it is the most magical unparalleled experience so that is the most important experience in my life for other people it's when they won awards when they were acknowledged when there was accolades involved anchor that so it's your feel good Use your vision daily. Spend at least five minutes up to 30 minutes a day focusing on your vision, how you desire yourself to be, how you desire yourself to, to be. And just focus on that as if though it's a done deal. Run it through your mind. Athletes, gold medalists, NASA explorers, they all use visualization. They all use the future. They're running that in their mind's eye. So use that for yourself in the morning before you get up. Focus on your being accomplished, whatever accomplishment means to you. Being happy, being elated, being successful in business. It's all the same. The universe, your mind, your subconscious will all conspire to support you in your vision. So focus on what you desire. Use a laser sharp focus and really hone your image. What you desire and what you don't want in your life. If you focus on that, that's what you get. So you need to be really discerning and discriminating as to what images what you allow in, what you allow out, and in your mind's eye as well. Very, very important. Create a logo for your life. So your vision for your life, when you declared, I am this, that, and the other, I have this, that, and the other, iconize it. Make the logo of your life. Your constitution comprises of your mission statement and your sequel, your logo of your life. Okay, commit and declare it three times a day. It's really important to actually declare it three times a day. You declare it to yourself out loud because something happens when we speak things out loud. Okay, so you could do that. You can declare it to many people out around you as well. That helps, but mind the language always in the present tense. What you desire in the future, not say, I would like to say I am 
I have. That will help quicken that. Okay, so make sure you, that you speak declarations to yourself like, I make a solemn oath that I am committing to my thriving and developing new habits that support my vision, my purpose and desires. Taking even the smallest action will actually further you in your journey to manifesting your desires. So a want perpetuates lack. It means you won't get it. You need to move from a state of wanting to a state of being, having. So what you focus on is like target fixation in hang gliding. You get there. You focus on it, you get there. Even if you focus on something you don't want, boom, you will get there. So be very mindful what you desire. Okay. List what is important to you. List what is urgent and what's important to you. List what you would like to do. List what you do not wish to do. So we're going to work with that very, very specifically. We're going to design your own system you know, you can use images, you can use logo, you can create your vision board, but make sure that you love it and enjoy it and own it. Okay, so what is at stake here? Well, your life really. This is your program, this is your life. So own it, engage in it, and you will reap abundance beyond your wildest dreams. Okay, so this ATM program, this Abundance Thriving Manifestation program, is the life game of your life. It really is about you. So it will require a commitment from yourself to yourself to thrive, to live in abundance, okay? To let go of the self-sabotage mechanism that is so strong, or even to maybe humor that part of you, okay? We all have that. So, um, who am I? You can read all about that. Um, but as I said earlier, I'm a spiritual entrepreneur tourist guide. So, um, yeah, I'm highly accomplished and I'm very happy that I can facilitate that transformation for people all over the world. Okay. Who it is for, it's for you. You came across it, it's for you. If you desire to propel your life to a whole new level, to elevate your performance, to have new dimensions in relationships. So this is for you. Anyone who desires to transcend and recreate enlightenment experience, anyone who desires to thrive financially and way beyond, because thriving and abundance is far more than just finances. So anyone who desires to making a huge difference and contribution to human unity, and for the benefit of all. This is for you. It is not for you if you want to keep being the victim of your circumstances. It is not for you if you want to blame. It is not for you if you're not willing to do what it takes. And it is not for you if you do not want your life to transform. If you just want to keep things as they are, um, they won't. And this is not your program. So only you can do this for yourself. And, um, and here it is. So we're going to build a foundation. Every day, something will happen. Every day, there will be homework, home play to do. And so you need to take the action every single day, okay? And whatever we do here, we'll build a foundation to the next day, to the next day. And you just won't recognize yourself, okay? It will happen naturally and seemingly effortlessly. Okay, and so just so that you're aware, if it's easy, you're not learning anything. Okay, so easy, you're not learning anything. So really allow yourself to be challenged and challenge yourself. Okay, bring extra awareness when you want to check out, when you are falling a little bit asleep, because that is what you really need to hear. So wake yourself up. Okay, if you're too busy, to meditate even the five minutes, then you've got to do double time, okay? So it really is important. You will become highly effective when you really take the time to relax, to heal yourself, to hone your vision. 
So do the home play and you will succeed. I guarantee you that. Okay. Um, what you focus on is what you get. We spoke about that. So um, I'm just going through to see. And we spoke about the New Year's resolution that they don't actually work. You know, they fizzle out. And, um, and what's really important is to cultivate healthy habits because we need to let go of the bad habits. But if we don't put in new healthy or desired habits, the old habits will creep in. You know, it just is. Humans are of addictive nature and therefore we just do whatever we are used to. So to cultivate a new habit will take a little effort. And then once you enjoy and reap the benefits, you repeat that for 30 days at least, if not 42 days, it becomes a good habit. You become addicted to the good stuff. Okay, so that's really important. Um, and just remember you're playing the game of your life. So surrender and accept what was and take conscious control over what you say your life is about. And that's where we're creating the mission statement for our life. And thus we're taking our life from wherever state it is to good. And then from good to great. And then from great to incredible. So um, feelings indicate where you are, where you're at. It, they indicate if you feel good, you know you're on the right path. If you feel bad, they are like, oh, okay, let me have a look. What, what other step, what, what do I need to take now in order to make myself feel better? Okay. And so feelings are the result of previous thinking. So they just indicate an error in thinking. When I say error in thinking, I'm not meaning that it's bad. It's just, it doesn't serve what you desire to experience, your life's purpose, your thriving. When you're suffering, it's an indication that it's just an error of thinking. Okay, so the results can be altered. The feelings are the results and also what you're having around you and what people are feeding back to you. They're results and they just indicate error of thinking from the past. Okay, and we can transform that. We will be harnessing your power of choice that will result in conducive, thriving thinking. So cultivating your desire, that is your fuel that actually propels your accomplishment to your life's vision. Your goals and desires are your roadmap. So enjoy the journey or not. Okay, so there's a formula. The formula is choosing thinking plus committing and declaring plus action, which is a state of being, equals thriving and results. I will post that. Okay, so choosing committing action will mean that you will be thriving. Thinking, declaring, and being will give you really nice reaping, you'll reap nice results, okay? So supercharge your thoughts, supercharge your goals, focus, visualize, and take action. So you need to supercharge your thoughts using your body, using your intention, choose goals, focus, visualize, and take actions that will correlate to you winning your game of life. Everything happens in the now, the past and the future, they all happen in the present. It's how you speak about that. So you need to act now. And this is a great mantra. I act now. I'm taking action now. I act now. Okay. Activating your energy. How do you do that? Well, you move, you dance, you use your pelvic floor muscles, direct your energy to the pineal gland, your third eye. Okay. So that would activate your serotonin and the serotonin actually, and, and the pineal gland supports you in your vision. It, it's great for shamanic journey as well. So act now, be that, be that which you desire to have. So if you want to have happiness, be happy now. You can just choose that, okay? And, and bestow that upon others, then you amplify that. 
practice really makes perfect. Choose your vision of life. Write it down, declare it, take action, visualize and daydream as much as you can, possibly can. Okay, so when you are driving to work, use that, do it. Focus on your vision often, iconize it, you know, constitute yourself, declare your mission statement and vision statement. Okay, it really, two other ingredients which are really important to add is your passion. Passion is an emotional state that will actually propel, that is the fuel that will propel your success. And also humor. You need to have fun. You need to stop being so significant. <laughs> I know I used to be. Okay. We need to acknowledge and complete the past year and the past decade, all relationships, everything. So write down, make a list. And we're going to title that list, Letting Go, My Letting Go. And you write down My Letting Go list and you write down everything, everything that you don't like about yourself, everything that you don't like about others, everything that didn't work, everything that you consider as a failure. You write this down in your letting go list. You include absolutely everything and all the things that you do not want to write down all behaviors you don't like and anything that you consider as a failure okay everything that you promised and you didn't deliver list it all and then you can either shred it throw it away or even burn it that's much better practice is burning it safely of course okay acknowledge what you're really proud of write down a list of my feel good bag you know i'm proud of i'm proud of your accomplish my accomplishment i'm proud of this that and the other what you accomplished so this you can look and like it's a reality check wow i can really accomplish what i desire okay so you need to to really acknowledge and really celebrate and be proud of yourself you know you need to say that um and then we're going to create a really interesting list which is what we're growing so that list you can actually plant under a tree under a fruit tree or a flower tree take a picture of it so add it you know write it on your mobile or cell phone so this is the list of what you're growing in your life it's all the attributes that you desire to have things behavior feelings absolutely everything but you write it all in the present tense i have i am so the f the feel good list you keep the letting go list you burn and then what you are growing you're actually going to place that under a tree or definitely keep keep growing that list okay so what you desire in the present tense and then I'd love to have your pictures of the little bonfire or screwed up balls, scrunched up. I'd love to see the tree that you planted your, your intentions and, and creations, okay? So it really is important to, to cultivate that, that which you desire to have. You write, you declare, you, um, you then look at it as many times as you want in a day. So have that your growing list okay so what i'm allowing to grow so it will require your commitment to thrive it will require a contract with yourself so create and sign a contract today with yourself that you're committing no matter what to actually do this work with yourself okay do the exercises and take action now the guided meditation um, for the gifts I will post on the public platform and also it will be in a closed members group. Members, uh, when you sign to this program, members get much more and they get um, a lot of time with me and they can also interact. Okay, so it's really, really important. We will be reading certain um, paragraphs from incredible books that actually um, I've been involved with for many, many years now. Do the work, you will get the results every time and way beyond. 
okay? The amount of energy that you give, you will get much more. So I really invite you to live the life that you love, live it out loud and really thrive, okay? At any moment you can choose, you can choose either to suffer or to enjoy, you know? So literally there's a meditation that I, I share about, you know, would you like to be happy or miserable? And it's great, it's every moment we have a choice regardless to what happens to you, okay? So that's really, really important. You can choose how you respond to things rather than react. And that's very, very important as well. Okay. Um, thank you. Someone wrote, love it. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> and um, the seven actions, I, the home play, the home play are seven actions. One, the feel good anchors feel good anchor you feel good you anchor it you sing you laugh you anchor it okay number two the attitude of gratitude list mentally and on your phone cell phone on a list of paper the attitude of gratitude what are you grateful for i'm grateful for being alive i'm grateful for the cup of tea that i was given i'm grateful for the amazing email i've just received from south africa thanking me i am so grateful for all the abundance and you list and even if you can't think of anything you can turn something negative into into a positive for instance i'm so grateful for the neighbors at nighttime making the noise so i can again transcend or transmute or grow okay the attitude of gratitude number three write your contract contract with yourself send me a picture of it I, i'd love that okay or, or an email or share it in the group members will have their own platform right number four write your constitution your ideal life your goals your visions the language is the here and now i am i have okay number five be fully expressed even for five minutes in your bedroom or in the car or in the bathroom you can either dance or sing or play just unleash your voice okay so whatever it is do some movement and in in tantra teaching it's the first three keys of breath sound and movement really important for transformation okay number six chant and recite mantras there could be any mantras um, in English, you could use your own language. I know there's a lot of languages here. So you could, um, you could do, um, I am wealth, I'm thriving, I'm abundance, I'm a miracle abundance magnet, I'm worthy of receiving abundance. Number seven, cultivate self-love for yourself and for others. Cultivate love for self and others. So in your heart, you need to say to others, I love you, everyone, regardless to who they are. And for yourself, you need to allow yourself to receive. You can use the mantra of, I forgive, accept and love myself from the EFT. So there is a bonus home play, okay? You can actually declare, I am substituting old habits that do not support my growth or my evolution with the ones that will enhance and enable me to thrive right here right now i let go and surrender to the magnificence that i really am i am deeply grateful and i'm humbled by the magic that life is expressing through me that i really am an instrument of the divine so just to finish off, you are no thing but a stage name for the divine, playing an act that is called your life. Okay, so there's more to say, but then that will come tomorrow. Is there anybody who would like to say anything? So if you do, um, please do. Go ahead, you can speak. Um, if you would like to unmute yourself. Okay. Renee, did you want to say something? Uh, 
No. <laughs> Did you get all of that? Um, I think about three quarters of it, yes. Okay, okay. So you've got the recording, you'll be able to listen to it. There's a yeah. lot of home play to do, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And thank you for being on um, and thank you for listening and thank you for everyone from all over the world. I know that some people in South Africa and New York and Spain and New Zealand and Israel, um, but this platform on Zoom, we are just seeing a couple of them and, um, and thank you for being here. And I look forward to joining you tomorrow for another installment so do do the homework do report to me and um live the life you love live it out loud and thrive namaste okay so you've got the recording you'll be able to listen yeah. to it there's a yeah. lot of home play to do yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Okay, thank you. And thank you for being on um, and thank you for listening and thank you for everyone from all over the world. I know that some people in South Africa and New York and Spain and New Zealand and Israel, um, but this platform on Zoom, we are just seeing a couple of them and, um, and thank you for being here. And I look forward to joining you tomorrow for another installment so do do the homework do report to me and um live the life you love live it out loud and thrive namaste <laughs>